putting the rocking chair together. As you can see, it's very stylish, farmhouse stylish. Hello everyone, how are you doing today? My name is Jody, and I'm from the Appalachian Channel and we have a new product to review today. It is the Luvana Orlando Series Patio Rocking Chair and I'm gonna put it together today. All right, I'm gonna cut it open. You wanna be really careful opening the box to make sure you do not scratch. So I'm gonna get the instruction guide out. This is a user manual. And as you can see, you can tell the parts are labeled with alphabets. And you've got your pack of screws. All of those are labeled as well. And this looks like a plastic composite material. Um, it's, it shouldn't chip or fade. The first thing that I'm going to do is make sure I have all my parts for assembly. And it comes with a description of everything, an account of what parts that you need to have. Okay, here's all the screw packs. Um, they're labeled with a letter of the alphabet. And it also comes with a tool. So I need G and H and I need screws BB. Okay, step one, I have two of the letter H and two of the letter G. Right here, their la letter G is labeled in yellow as the front of the rocking chair. And I have four of these screws that I'm gonna have to screw in with an alley wrench. And let's put this thing together. Should be pretty easy assembly. There's nothing more I like than sitting on the patio rocking in a rocking chair. You see my kitty cat in the background. She's a nosy little thing. You can see she likes rocking on the rocking chairs too. Okay, the rocking chair behind me is real wood and it's starting to rot and it's had to been repainted a whole lot. Um, with this rocking chair, it's made out of plastic and it should not chip or fade. And the rocking chair behind me has been molding a little bit. My hands are not as strong as they used to be. Okay, now these two are together and now I'm starting on step two, which is the seat portion. And I have already opened the AA pack of screws. You're gonna need this Phillips screwdriver assembly that came with the product. And I think I'm gonna make this a little bit simpler. I am going to use my drill. If you're using a drill, go slowly. And once you get so far in, instead of stripping the screw, you want to take that tool and finish the job. Okay, this is the back of the chair assembly. I've already got one side done. And I'm going to go to the next side and complete that. This is like a really relaxing craft project that you can do. It's not too hard to put together. It's something that you can do for fun. In the shade, that is. And as you, and as you can see, a woman can do this by herself. Okay, I have the back assembly all together. I'm gonna set it to the side and move on to the next step. If you like craft projects, this is wonderful. Okay, next, moving on to step four, we're gonna be assembling the seat and the legs. It seems there's a sticker missing to tell me which way the front is. 
that's the only issue I've had so far, but I'm gonna just go with it. There's three holes. It's gonna go into the middle hole. This bottom hole will have a rail that goes across the front. You have a bolt and a nut. Now that this side is done, I'm gonna flip it over and do the other side. Okay, now that I have step four completed, I'm gonna move on to step five. And that's gonna be attaching these little rods. This is black all the way through, as you can see. Next, I'm gonna, next I'm gonna attach eye. Okay, these go in this way. And we're going to be using pack GG. We're going to be using pack FF. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six screws. And we'll use the Allen wrench on that. You can feel the notch once you hit it with a screw. Good and tight. I'm gonna flip it over and do the other side. What I've really enjoyed about putting this together is that I've only needed two tools that came included. Seems tight enough. I'll work on the other side. Now we're moving on to step six right here. We're gonna attach the arms to the base of the chair. I'm turn her around facing frontwards. Now I have arms C and D. And we're gonna use the pack EE screw and bolt. All right, I'm attaching the arms. Attaching the arms of the patio rocker. I'm gonna go ahead and assemble this side and then turn it over and do the other side. We are, okay, we are on our last three bolts. been really easy to put together. Step-by-step -step instructions are very self-explanatory. The diagrams show how easy it is. And like I said, so easy a woman can put it together. Make sure you have all your bolts correct with the letters. All right, I've completed putting the rocking chair together. As you can see, it's very stylish, farmhouse stylish. It's black. It's a, black is a very popular color with the farmhouse. A really nice thing about this is that it only took 45 minutes to put together. If you'd like one of your own, you can get 15% off if you use the code Appalachian15, and we make an affiliate commission off of these. So, make sure to order your Lubana patio rocking chair. See you next time.